Yeah, wanna know what it's like Life. Baby, show me what it's like Life. I don't want to fight no tights Life. I just wanna fuck all night Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Baby, mm. I need to know mm. Oh. Mm. I just been fantasizing mm. And we got a lot of time mm. Baby, come throw the pipe Gotta know what it's like Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. What's up, Aries? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Aries out there are doing well. So let's go on and jump right into this reading and see what it is that you need to know. If you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. So some of you could have been dealing with someone, right? And it was like, you know, you and this person would do things together, but you never met this person's family, okay? And you could have questioned this person, like, why I haven't met your parents or, you know, any of your family members or anything like that. But this person was afraid, okay? They weren't sure if their family was going to accept you here, okay? So there could have been like an age difference between you and this person maybe they were way older than you maybe you were older than them okay this could have been maybe like religious backgrounds or something of that nature okay maybe this person just felt like you didn't fit in you know with their family i feel like for some of you could have been dealing with a libra but whoever this person is like they release that those beliefs or thought system or whatever it is like whatever reason this person half and I bring you around their family. This is someone who has made a decision, okay? They're accepting the fact, okay, maybe my family won't accept, you know what I'm saying, Aries, but shit, fuck it. That's who I want to be with, so they're going to have to deal with it here, okay? All right, someone around you could have been hiding their true feelings from you because they were afraid of commitment. So this could have been a little situationship. Some of you could have been in a relationship with someone, but it was like this person never opened up. They never wanted to let down their guard. They never wanted to even talk about their feelings. Right. So you never really knew how this person felt about you. But someone here, maybe they were afraid of being on lockdown. OK, so maybe in their past relationships, you know, they made it opened up and then it was like clank, clank. Somebody locked them down. OK, and this is someone who just wanted to be free. You know, we all deserve to be free within a relationship. You shouldn't feel like you're on lockdown. But this is how I feel like this person viewed a relationship, possibly because of someone they dealt with from their past. OK. They could have been dealing with someone. It was like the the universe was trying to lead them to say goodbye. So this could have been a third party situation. This could have been a marriage, whatever it was, okay? But they were being guided several times, okay? They were all type of red flags, everything, trying to get this person to move away from this situation, but they wouldn't do it, okay? For some of you, this person had lingering, unbearable pain. So they experienced a lot of emotional pain. It's someone who really got hurt dealing with another man or another woman, but they never released it. You know what I'm saying? They always, they carried their baggage from their past relationship into this relationship that you shared, okay? You could have been dealing with someone who was like a control freak. So it's like they always had to be in control and everything always had to go their way. If you didn't do something they want or, you know, things didn't go their way in the relationship, this person would get mad. You know, they would get real childish or I feel like the way that they express their emotions was in a very childish immature way okay so this person was used to getting in place with old baby they met an aries and fucked around and found out okay because you was the person who put them in a place you had to show them that fat meat was greasy okay this is someone who felt like they can just do whatever you know what i'm saying and like they had no consequences and i feel like a lot of you guys just pulling back your energy not dealing with them not talking to them like you had to show them like nah you can't treat everybody a certain type of way and expect you know people to stay around and still deal with you okay there is someone in your energy, Aries. They love your swag, baby. This is someone who feels like you represent the whole package. So this is someone who was to write down on the piece of paper what they were looking for within a man or a woman. Like, you represent that, all right? They feel like you got everything this person wants, everything they need, and then some. But the problem is this person may not have the strength and the courage to be able to even tell you this, okay? This is someone who I feel like they really do admire you, you know, but then... This person isn't able to, like, tell you, like, man, you know, I really wish that I could, you know, be like you because I really feel like this is someone who admires you to the fact that they, like, even would want to be like you in a way, you know? But this is someone who's overly controlled. I can't make this up. This is someone who's used to getting their way and because they always want to be in control, like, they can't even 
Like them being in control, you guys won't even allow them to open up. Okay, so this is someone who I feel like has a lot of pride and they have a lot of ego, right? But it's like they operate out of their ego. They operate out of their pride. And this is the reason why this person can't express to you and tell you how they feel. This could be someone who suffers from low self-esteem. Okay, so even though they see that you the whole package, they love your swag. Like I said, they don't feel too good. They don't feel too confident within themselves, okay? This is someone who may have tried to force something, you know, tried to force a relationship, maybe force themselves. And maybe you guys, y'all were trying to force a relationship, force things to work. And it was like, you just had to take your time and allow this situation to unfold naturally here, okay? So someone who feels like, you know, they love your swag, they love everything about you, how you talk, how you walk, how you dress, how you carry yourself, everything. But because they suffer from low self-esteem, they may not even see your worth. Like, they, they see it. But, you know, they don't see it. You see what I'm saying? Like, they, they see the picture, but they don't see the bigger picture here. Now, for some of you, you got a stalker alert, okay? Someone checks up on you, baby, very, very often. I ain't talking about, like, no, you know, once a week or nothing like that. Like, this person checks up on your page, you know, things of that nature multiple times a day. And this is someone who didn't want to collaborate with you, okay? This is someone who didn't want to work with you. Like, you were trying to compromise with this person. You know, they could have been difficult to work with, get along with. But this is someone who, like I said in the past, they didn't want to work with you. They didn't want to collaborate with you. They didn't want to compromise with you. But now they're trying to figure out who you out here collaborating and compromising with, okay? All right, you guys. So you can be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Leo, and we have Capricorn. So let's go to my who that right quick. We're going to shuffle and get just a brief description of either you. Or this can be a brief description of your person, and then I'll roll the dice some more and see who this is reading about, okay? I hope something here resonated for you guys. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you are interested in a person, my information will be in the description box below. All right, so who is this about for Aries? I love you, Aries. All right, this could be about someone who has a mole, or maybe they have several moles on their face or body. Someone who has freckles. All right, this could be about someone who has a natural hair, okay? All right, so let's get the signs, you guys, and let's see who this reading is about for Aries. All right, so we got Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Scorpio, Capricorn, Sag, Aquarius. Wow, okay, let's get some other signs. All right, we got Capricorn, Gemini, hold on, Capricorn, Heavy Gemini, and Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.